Welcome to the Ultimaker booth. We are checking out the Ultimaker 2 Extended Plus. There's some pretty cool new features here, mainly the new orientation of the fans, the exchangeable print heads, and the new feeder. Thanks to Squarespace for sending us here to CES 2016 this year. Their link is in the description down below. Starting with the print head, Ultimaker worked with the guys in the community that made the Olsen block, so it's an exchangeable print head that goes from 0.25 to 0.4, 0.6, and then up to 0.8. If you use much smaller filament material, you can make something that's much finer, more detailed print, but it will take you a lot longer, and vice versa. So for the large stuff, it'll take you less amount of time, but it won't look quite as good. On the topic of print quality, we have the orientation of the fans. This doesn't seem like a huge deal, but changing how the fans were oriented allowed them to push a lot more airflow through, which actually makes a huge deal and is, allows you to make higher quality prints. Not just, it's not that just things cool down a little bit faster, it's that you're able to do more detailed operations with the printer, which is super important. And the next main point is the new feeder. It's much larger in overall format size than the previous feeder, which actually makes a ton of sense. A problem with the previous feeder was that the motor would make the gears too hot, which would make the plastic too hot, which was a problem. Now, not only are the gears made out of nylon, so they don't transfer heat that much, but they're also a little bit further away from the motor. So that heat transfer shouldn't be as big of a deal. Also, very cool side note, there's now a switch on the side of the feeder, which allows you to disengage the gear, allowing you to manually pull out the print filament, which is great. Another random tidbit side note thing is that the little white bit of plastic, I don't really remember the name of its job that it does, but it sits in between the hot and cold zones on the actual printer. It has had a durability increase, which is great because when you're sitting in between a hot and cold zone, breaking is going to definitely be a huge problem. Now, are you sad because you have an Ultimaker 2 or Ultimaker 2 Extended and you want the plus features, but you don't want to buy a new one because they're super expensive? That's okay. No launch date yet, but they will be releasing Ultimaker, plus, uh, Ultimaker 2 Plus kits so that you can upgrade your current kit to that. It's not going to be the easiest thing to do, but you might be able to take it to a center or something like that if you're worried about your abilities. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. I was super excited to check this stuff out. I love my 3D printer, so yeah, I was very happy that this was here. Anyways, comment in the comments down below if you would buy a kit if you owned an Ultimaker 2, or just don't. That's also fine. Thanks to Squarespace for sending us here this year to CES 2016. Check out their link in the video description down below, squarespace.com. Also add a slash Linus to the end and use the offer code Linus when purchasing. Your first purchase will be 10% off. If you buy a year at a time, you get a free domain. It's really easy to use if you have any problems with it they have 24 7 live chat and email support and they have a whole bunch of templates so you can make it look really pretty even if you're not very good at that whole aesthetic stuff anyways squarespace build it beautiful we'll see you guys next time